Have you ever wondered how two powerful nations like the United States and Canada could be connected in an even more significant way? Well, get ready to be amazed because a groundbreaking project is underway linking these two nations with a colossal bridge that will change the game forever. I'm your host, and in this video, we'll explore the fascinating details of the new $4.4 billion mega bridge connecting the US and Canada. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Now, let's get started. Some of the goals of bridge construction are improving transportation, creating regional links, and stimulating economic growth. But most importantly, it's a great business opportunity. It's no secret that bridges make tons of money with toll revenue. Imagine how profitable it would be to bridge two powerful nations. The scaffolds that associate Windsor, Canada, and Detroit, USA are the absolute most significant bits of foundation in the North American district. In fact, there has been a kind of competition underway to build the best one. The newest bridge to be constructed is the Gordie Howe International Bridge. Pushing the limits of designing, the Gordie Howe Global Extension is set to turn into the longest link remain spanned in North America and the fifth longest on the planet. Scheduled for completion by the end of 2024, the bridge will offer more capacity, network connectivity, improved border procedures, and the ability to expand trading between both countries. As you may know, the largest trading partnership in the world is between the US and Canada, with a staggering $664 billion worth of trade in 2021. Detroit and Windsor account for nearly fifth of all trade, with over $300 million worth of commodities transported daily between the two cities. The bustling commerce route expects traffic crossing the border to grow from 18,500 vehicles a day in 2016 to 26,500 by 2025. The Gordie Howe Bridge will provide an orderly flow of people and goods between the USA and Canada. It will offer new crossing highway-to-highway -highway links and updated border processing facilities. Additionally, it will increase the effectiveness of transportation between Ontario, Quebec, and Eastern Canada. This project will not only benefit the regions, but also assist the local economy by adding 2,500 employment opportunities. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is being developed through a public-private partnership between the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority and Bridging North America. It will be publicly owned by the governments of Canada and Michigan. The complex project began in 2004 as the Detroit River International Crossing, 2007 and 2008 approved bridge building. Canada's 2012 rejection of a $550 million investment delayed the bridge's completion till 2016. However, the Canadian government funded the bridge's construction and bought Detroit site land for $25 million. The Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority was chosen to operate the bridge after Michigan received a permit from the U.S. Department of State in 2015. The bridge will include six motor vehicle lanes, three each to the U.S. and Canada, and an 11-foot-wide pedestrian and cycling walkway. As bridges nationwide age, this initiative is vital for American infrastructure. New ports of entry will connect the American and Canadian bridge terminals to the Gordie Howe Bridge project. These ports of entry will have incoming and outgoing inspection facilities and vast plazas for future processing facilities. Be that as it may, this venture has not been without its difficulties. The 92-year-old exclusive representative scaffold found only a couple of miles from the Gordie Howe extension has been a disputed matter. The owner, Manuel Maru, has repeatedly tried to block the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge, claiming it's illegal due to trespassing on family land. Nevertheless, the Gordie Howe Bridge project has pressed forward, aiming to take away 75% of trade traffic currently utilizing the Ambassador Bridge. The project promises to be a remarkable engineering achievement and has the potential to significantly improve one of the most critical border crossings in the world. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Do you believe it will have a positive impact on trade and transportation between the US and Canada? Let us know your ideas and opinions in the comment section below. And remember, if you want to stay up to date with the latest mega construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.